Well, hello and welcome to our Q&A. <laughs> look, we looked a little crooked. Well, we just got back from Lake Powell with the kids. There were no grandkids there or anything, so pretty fun. Yeah, uh, it was. A, it was really the first time all our kids got together mm -hmm. with their spouse. Well, John Boy wasn't there. Yeah, but minus one. He couldn't make it. But, um... But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, there's uh, we had to find people to take care of 24 kids, so that was pretty crazy. But everybody found somebody to take care of them, and uh, two of them, their spouses, took care of them. Let's see. Is that wow, their kids. Oh yeah, Joanna and Zach oh, yeah. took care of the kids. So yeah. it was way fun. And those videos will come up uh, next week. I even got in the water. I didn't want so to. So Lake but Powell is down by Grand Canyon and their cliffs and mm -hmm. thousands of miles of I heard shoreline. it was like three or four thousand miles of shoreline. They, it kind of goes up and down, around, around, And people, around. and we slept in a houseboat mm -hmm. that is a timeshare uh, that one of uh, our Not a timeshare, but they share it with six other people. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah you're right, it's not a Yeah, time not timeshare. But uh, it was way fun. Uh, the kids just had fun together, and Davy took us out on the boat, and they did cliff jumping, and uh, uh, we, I don't know, the sunsets were made. We actually had really good weather and stuff, so it was really good. And so, the, the official name was Wake Wake Surfing. surfing yeah. Wake Surfing. I tried to get up, and I thought, uh, uh, it just wasn't happening. So it's a little I need bit, to practice so, more. A little bit like surfing in an ocean, but it's in a lake instead. Yeah, and the boat <clears throat> the boat makes the waves. So uh, it was really fun. And so I just laid on my stomach on the wakeboard and just did that. I thought, I could do that one. But to where you actually stand up, uh, and it ain't happening. They tried to get Papa O in there, but he said, no. I told him next year nope. I'd do it. Next year? <laughs> you, <laughs> you will not. <laughs> you think, well, you maybe never I know. will. Maybe never I know. I know. Yeah, I never know. So watch for those videos next week. And um, uh, let's go ahead and start with our questions. Niall. Her Horusis. He wants us to give a shout out. So He's uh, got to shout in to us first. Shout in? Just How say do hi. I'm from so and so. Okay. <laughs> so there's nothing oh, I didn't to have we time to do my hair them. or make up anything. Say, if you want a shout out, you say a little bit about yourself. I'm <clears throat> I'm, I'm a, Niall from I'm a, I'm a kid or I'm a grown up. A, yeah, we don't know. And I live in this state. And <laughs> okay, Ruby. Uh, so there's your shout out, Niall. Okay, Ruby Grant. Here's a quote for Papa O. Uh, when you talk, you are only repeating what you already know. But if you listen, you may learn something new. Dalai the Dalai Lama. Lama. Yeah, so uh, learn something new just by listening and you'll learn something new. Huh. I like that. Yeah. And that's so true. Uh, a lot of times you just want to uh, repeat what somebody else has said. You don't think much about it. But to listen is a whole new ball game. Uh, listening's kind of an art or a gift or a talent that you learn how to master because listening you say I'm hearing you I've, I've heard what you've said but I wasn't really listening <laughs> you know because then you say well what did I say so, I said well no I wasn't listening but I heard you talking okay uh, Kimberly Niven happy birthday to Papa O we had his birthday on Monday and the video came up two days ago September 16. Yeah, September 16 turned 80. And it looks like you had a great one. I would n have never guessed he was 80. He looks fabulous. Well, yeah, sit and up, still teaching. Sit up and not slouch. There you go. And still teaching. Wow. Uh, it's amazing. Will he slow down at some <laughs> point? <laughs> so will you be slowing down at then some you point? Can. You, one thing you could tell them is a surprise birthday party. You want to tell them that? Or? Well, the video came out two days oh. ago. Yeah, they know about the surprise birthday party. What about the viewers that didn't? The viewers that didn't know, go back two days ago. <laughs> I think I posted it. It wasn't yesterday, but the day before. And in our past Q&As, we talked... Uh, that's all the questions we have. I have to go through my list and see what... I haven't had a chance to go through and... Um, 
uh, look for the questions, but because we've been playing for the last three days, the last four <laughs> days, so it's really fun. But uh, just real quick, kind of a carry on to the last Q and A. The last Q and A, we talked about um, our uh, when we got engaged and got married and stuff, and then thought we could talk a little bit about after we got married. Uh, we lived behind my, after we got married, we went on, uh, I think we told him we went on our honeymoon to California and we came back and found out that my grandpa Bueller had died. We went to his funeral and then we had a little place behind my brother Brent's house. And, um, it was, it was one room and a bathroom. Yeah, it was one room and a bathroom. And when you it had a couch that rolled out into a bed and when well, you had that bed out. So it's a little bit like a, a little mini kind of little living mini, room. Mini uh, part. We had a bathroom and a living room. And a little, we had a little plate that we would, heating plate that we'd cook on and stuff. And, and you, we had the fridge outside. Would you go into his place to cook? or? No, I cooked out there and made cookies. I, I didn't have anything to do all day because Papa says, Oh, you, you worked so hard on the farm all day, um, your whole life. Why don't you rest? And I, didn't have, I said, What rest? I, I, I did I, something to do. And I'd do the wash and I'd cook and bake cookies. And our fridge had to be outside the door because there was no room inside. And uh, so we lived, uh, my brother Brett would come come over and see what goodies I'd made during the day and cookies and pies and and stuff and that kind of bugged. Should we tell him about the lock bugged, on the door? Yeah, we, we, it kind of bugged Joe so Joe didn't like my brother Brent getting in the fridge and eating all the treats while... Well, pies in particular. Pies, yeah, and so he put a lock on the fridge. <laughs> my brother well, goes, see, there wasn't what's enough, the locks on there, there for? Not enough room inside the place to have the fridge, so we yeah, kept so it, it was outside. So <laughs> it was funny. My brother would. Uh, we lived there for two months. Oh, so. Uh huh. Yeah. And then you wanted to finish your master's degree in French, so you thought it would be a good idea to move up by this college. So we moved up there, and he for six months he finished his. In six months, you finished your degree, and by then I was expecting our first first child, Johnny. Or John Joseph, wait, John Val Orgill. And then we moved over to the apartments after Joe graduated, and then we moved to the house we're in now. And this house uh, doesn't have a basement. We thought we'd lived here, would live here for a year. I'll see if I can find some old pictures and post them of how the house used to look outside. And it just had the two bedrooms, and we thought we'll live here for a year. Yeah. And oh, and the washroom. Mm -hmm. Or the two. Oh, the two bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, the two bedrooms. And we had four kids here. We had boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. For those that don't know that, and and then uh, uh, we were gonna live here for a year. And then we had six kids, and we thought, boy, we need more space. And we were going to move, but the houses were so expensive. We thought we got to stay here. We found a neighbor that uh, a friend that added on for us and uh, maybe you could tell just real quick your experience of how you felt when our first child was born. I was working in a grocery store at the time and and I was evening manager and I had to wait for a replacement. Pretty soon I just thought, I'm going and the nurse calls me up and says, Mr. Oracle, your wife is in labor having a baby. Could you come down possibly? I said, yes, 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 I'll, re I'll be I have right to wait down. for my replacement. So I went tearing out, and there comes my replacement, and he said, slow down, uh, Oracle, slow down. Because your first baby and takes I, a while and I, to get here. And the place I'd been driven by our, our hospital many years, I zoomed by, you passed. and I passed the hospital up, and then turned around and come back. And, <laughs> um, but I remember... It was so exciting to see a little baby born and know that he's a product of Roseanne and me. It was just, it was just exciting. What would you tell the doctor? I, which time? Well, um, for, uh, you ran after him and you, you said you, you should. Oh, 
I thanked him. Yeah, you shook his hand and thanked him, and then what did he say to you? He you said, don't think you, don't, he said, you were uh, choked up. I, I didn't do any work, or your wife did all the work. And I go, I'm, where's my credit? But you were just so choked, choked up, you just <laughs> ran after the doctor. I, I was choked. You shook his hand, and you were teary-eyed, and you said, thank you. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, it wasn't me. I go, yep. Mm. Then, <laughs> and then every two years, we had a, a baby, and... And then, uh, it's hard to believe we've been in this house 44 years, I guess. Well, what happened 44. is, this was our temporary home till we got our dream home. But our temporary home became our dream yeah. home because we added on to it. We, mm -hmm. we had, we had 12,000 square feet on the bottom and we added 18,000 square feet on Another layer. Or another and level. people would say, what are you going to do with that big house? And I, uh, when all the kids leave, I go, oh, they'll come back to visit. I mean, we, we have sleepovers. They come over for Sunday dinners. And we've almost outgrown this house. Uh, but So it was pretty uh, nice to be able to add on. We went, we added some, I'll see if I can find some add-on add pictures. And we have some old videos of the the kids. It took about a month to add on, and yeah. my my brother Brent did all the plumbing. Uh, my other brothers helped do the shingling, and some neighbors helped do the sheet rocking and, and uh, painting, Christians. and uh, yeah. so a lot of people helped. Uh, so it was it was pretty nice to get our to, yeah. to get the house added on to, and I'll see if we can show some pictures and. No, that well, we now, just... and there are people that, have, you know, they get a decent job and then they want to move up in their house and get a, quote, nicer house. But we quickly started making memories in this house. Mm -hmm. We just didn't want and, to move. And uh, as the years went by, there were memories in every room with, with yeah. certain children. And, uh, and it, it was cheaper just to add on to. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find some old... Uh, we've been taking movies, uh, videos, uh, for 45 years. And my mom and dad, they took videos when I was a kid. And so we have lots and lots of videos. And I'll see if I can find a home movie. Uh, this is back when they didn't even have sound. And you would just send the <laughs> reel-to-reel -reel tape. You'd send the video off to in the mail and they'd send it back on a reel to reel and I you'd forgot we hook had, it up. We had reel yeah, you'd to get reel. it on the projector and shine it up on the wall. But boy now it's nice. We you just do on it on this your camera. Phone. You just do it on your camera. Now yeah. even your phones, it's the technology is just amazing. Uh maybe do a show back when Johnny was little and we moved into our home and the backyard wasn't anything like it is now. It's t taken us a while. A tree to, that you could jump over. Yeah, almost. Now it's you could 50, push over. 50 feet high. Knock over. Yeah, now we've got a big tree house in there. So it's pretty fun. Um, but that's kind of our marriage wrapped up into a little ball. <laughs> and now here we are, 28 grandkids. Well, uh, when April's and Davy's baby gets here, but for, you, the, for the new subscribers, welcome and thank you. Um, oh, do we also you're going to see some videos of CVX Live. That was way fun for two days, and then see the videos of us at Lake Powell Creator yeah. vi Viewer Experience CVX oh, Live. I didn't know that. And that's where you go to meet uh, some YouTubers that you want to see that you think are are are. Pretty, would be fun to watch and have fun to see them in person. So, um, uh, for the new viewers, uh, Q, we do Q and A's every Thursday. Fridays are my DIYs. Uh, do it yourself for things. I do sewing or cooking or some craft or something. And then the other days are the videos that uh, we, you know, just of what whatever doing or doing something. Tell her Always how the doing bell. something every day. Tell them, remind I'll them how the bell Ring the works. bell if, and that. That shows you... The tips. bell means on her YouTube page in the top right-hand corner is a bell. And if you subscribe to Roseanne, then to if, she, if she uploads the video, that bell will notify, notify, notify yeah, you. Let you know that we're here. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and close with a couple of quotes. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. I like that. The great thing about getting older is that you don't lose all the other ages you've been. Yeah, you get to keep those. <laughs> you, get to act, you can be a kid. Yeah, and just, you, I've been, like, tell our grandkids, you go, you know what, I, I've been your age before, believe it or not. I was little. I used, I've been your age. I know what it's like to go through what you're going through. Count your life by smiles, not tears. Count your mm. age by friends, not years. I like that. Yeah. All right, that's all good advice. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and ring that bell. And remember to look for the rose. That's our, our theme. Thank you, and we we'll keep those questions coming. And good night. Good night.